Hi YouTube, it's Lucia. I'm going to show you a little haul that I have today and it's from Hobby Lobby and Fabric Depot and this is from our trip over last weekend that we took every year some friends and I and our husband go to Portland and uh, we go to Fabric Depot which is a very large fabric kind of warehouse store and um, Hobby Lobby because we don't have one here locally so we have to go to the one that's up north so um, we stop in Eugene go to Hobby Lobby then go to Fabric Depot and then from there it's like we go everywhere anywhere else that we want to go we were gonna go to Ikea this year but it got too late so we did not go but um, Maybe next year we'll put it on our schedule. So I'm going to jump right in and show you what I got from Hobby Lobby. And I was surprised I didn't really get that much stuff from Hobby Lobby. I got some decor pieces. Um, I got this. Bless this kitchen. It's going to look so cute in my kitchen. And then I got this. Because we have chickens. And they give us a lot of eggs. So I got this just to hang towels or something on. And then I got this little wall hanging also that just has a chicken on it with a fence. And then I got this little, it was $3.99, probably a little pricey, but it had some really cool pieces in there. Um, of like burlap and different burlap laces and I have some projects that I'm going to be doing and this is going to look good on it so oh this one has gears on it but I purchased this just because I thought maybe well I know I'm going to use it on some of my projects I have a lot of browns because my husband likes brown and we're doing kind of I don't know our house is kind of farmhouse now style so that's what we got and then I got another water brush because I don't know what happened to my water brush I cannot find it anywhere so I got another one and it was $4.99 at Hobby Lobby and then I saw this stamp and it's foam and I had to get it because it is going to look so good. Oh, you can see the camera. <laughs> Let me see if I can turn the light on and maybe it will do that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so pretty. I can't you wait to use that. Let's try to stamp it and see what it's like. There, now you can see it. Yeah. It is going to be so nice. I'm so excited. Where's my stamp pad? Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's what it looks like stamped. I need to re-ink my pad. So that is my new stamp. And it was only $2.99. I did really good. I didn't overspend. I mean, because I'm trying not to buy a whole lot of new stuff. Because I have so much. I just need to use it up. And then I got this uh, remnant leather pack, and it was only $5.99, but you get some pretty good sizes of leather in here. And I was going to try to buy some at Hobby Lobby, but when I saw this, I thought, wow, that is just, that's good. It's for what I need. What I want to try to do is try to maybe make some journals, and I'm not sure, you know, what else. But there's some bigger pieces in here so we'll see what I get to do with this another project that I want to do but I did want to want some pieces of leather so I got that now I'm not going to be able to fold it up and put it back in the package and that is everything that I got from Hobby Lobby 
most of my purchases actually came from Fabric Depot because they had a huge sale going on. Everything was 30% off. And then I thought I had done this before, but I hadn't signed up for their emails to get coupons. So just for signing up for that, I got an additional 40% off on some of the fabrics that I purchased. So that's it from Hobby Lobby. Not too much. Um, fabric people. Get organized here, Lucia. Okay. Okay, so they had these little fat quarter packets. They're fat packs, and it says it contains over a quarter yard of fabric, and they're $1.99 each. So I got this one. And I got this one in the green. And I liked it because it came with a lot of batiks inside. I think I did get one that doesn't have batiks. A couple. And these are great for like journal covers. I'm also, you know, I go to a quilting retreat and we have a secret sister where you leave little gifts on your secret sister's table. And so $1.99, we have a price limit. So, you know, this is a great little gift for a secret sister at the sewing retreat. So I got those. And then this is another little thing I got for super cheap because um, it was on their clearance rack. It is a pin cushion um, that you can put together and make. And so I thought this would be a good gift for Secret Sister also. They can make their own little pin cushion. And then I got a bunch of little button notions just because I thought they were cute and because I'm working on a project so I want to make sure you know I have embellishments for the project so I got these which are little ice creams and then this is assorted sewing stuff the ribbon right there the tape measure is actually a ribbon And this one is more like for a teacher, but I got it because I wanted the pencil and the little signs in there. There's a little sign in there that says different things, and I wanted that. Excuse my nails. I didn't paint them before I got on. And some chickens. I thought those were just cute, just because. And then I got these little scissors. And I thought I had gotten something else, but I guess I did it. And then I got again this little sewing kit here. It is great for a little secret sister gift for retreat, which is coming up, I believe, in April. So that's why I'm getting ready with little gifts. So I have that. And then this is, these are scissors, and they're just super tiny scissors. And these I got for me because I don't know, I told you guys, I just like miniature stuff. It's so cute, little tiny things. So these you can hang on your lanyard or wherever. And 
their tiny little scissors. How cute is that? They come with their little lid. And then of course the charm holder. Adorable. Super cute. Okay, so there's that. Now on to the fabric. Let's start with some remnants here. This was a remnant and I just thought it was so pretty and it's pretty heavy material. Love that. This was a tiny little Christmas piece that I love and I thought that was cute and I thought I don't know. I thought a lot of stuff, but <laughs> what I'll do with it, I don't know. But it's cute. I liked it, and it was only like a dollar. And then this one also was on the remnant rack. I always check there first, just for little things. This says Grumpy Cat, Bah Humbug. This is the worst. I thought that would be kind of cute also for a little journal cover. This one is really pretty. This one was a little bit more from the remnant rack. But there's a lot of fabric here. Let me see. There is one whole yard here of this. And it's so pretty. And then from the novelty section I found these because I do want to make some placemats and some other things and so there is the fabric with chickens on it And then I was walking by the boutiques, and I have a lot of boutiques, but I saw this one, and it's just like, it stuck out, so I had to get a yard of it. It is so pretty. And I'm really into the turquoise and dark greens right now. I don't know why. And then this also was on the remnant rack. Um, this one and this one were not on the remnant rack. This one was on the remnant rack, and it's more like an upholstery fabric, but it's really pretty. It's black and gray. I don't know why they folded it the wrong way so I can't see it. Okay, so that's that one, and this was super pretty. Man, I can get rid of all these strings. So all this is probably just going to go in my stash for a while. Oh, I did get another... Oh, what was this called? I can't remember what this was called. And I don't have a receipt with me. This is so pretty. It's got gold flakes through it. I just love this. This would make a beautiful journal cover. Or something else. <laughs> and then I want to make some pillows. And I learned something new this weekend that I did not know. Or I probably knew it, but I was just calling it the wrong thing. I want to make some pillows. And I wanted to make it out of the striped stuff, which I was calling um, gingham. But I found out that gingham are actually the checkers, like the squares, the fabric with the checkers on them. That's gingham. I was looking for this type of fabric. which is called ticking. 
So I learned that. So I got the brown and I got the red and I want to make some throw pillows with this. So maybe I'll try to do a tutorial. It's really hard to do sewing tutorials because of the camera and having to, you know, just it's just kind of a pain. I did one once before, but and I got a request for more, but it's just it's a lot of work with the camera. So anyway, that's what I got. So this is ticking, and this is what I'm going to make my pillows out of. So those are my fabrics. I'll just let you see one last look at them. So the red ticking, the brown ticking, and I can't remember what this is called, but it's so pretty. This is very pretty. The batik is gorgeous. This is the novelty fabric I got with the chickens on it. I, I love novelty fabric, and usually every year I find a ton of it that I just love. But this year I didn't find a whole lot. This is very pretty also. It's very bright. This is pretty. This solely I bought for a journal cover. This is pretty, the Christmas one, and this one's pretty too for a journal cover. This might be a good pillow also, so I might make a pillow out of that because it's pretty strong. So that's the fabric I got at Fabric Depot. And then I just got some other little things. A um, couple of patterns. I got these patterns. It's a pot holder and a tea towel. I thought those were cute for little gifts. I could make one for my secret sister. And then I got this bag. It was just curious to make this bag. I'm going to see how it turns out. It's like a, a little carrying bag. I like it. So I picked that up, and it was 50% off. And then I got this quilt pattern. It was pretty, and this was $2.99. It was also marked down. And then, again, some more pot holders. This I might just give away as a gift to my secret sister. It was also $2.99. And then I got this little sewing caddy. It's a ladybug. It's so cute. Your scissors fit in here. Like that. And then you can put your bobbins around it. And it's also a pin cushion. So it's a pin cushion, a scissor holder, and a bobbin holder. So I thought that was cute. I put that next to my sewing machine. And that's it. That's all I got. I did do a small um, Goodwill haul. Or uh, not a haul, but I did do a small Goodwill purchase yesterday. And I bought some really big uh, utensils. There was a fork and a spoon and they're big. And they're those old wooden ones that have like the tiki totem pole at the end. Um, and I've altered those, and the video should be up pretty soon about those. That's why, I mean, I brought them right home and got right to work on them, and they turned out so good, and they look really nice in my kitchen. But I'm really happy with the way they turned out. So look forward to that video. Hopefully I'll have it up soon. Um, I love them. They turned out great. So I got those. I got the fork and the spoon, which are the big, large, they're pretty large, um, tiki things. And then in the craft section, they had these leaves. And I thought those would be good for some kind of um, spring or fall project. Um, they actually go on the walls, but I'm not going to use them on the walls. But they were super cheap at Goodwill, like 99 cents. And then also from Goodwill, I found this paper, which is always good for journals. It's just ledger paper. And then I got this because this is also going, it was only $1.99. And I'm doing a project that's going to be coming soon. So please stay tuned for that also. But I'm going to alter this, this picture frame. And I hope it turns out. I have an idea what I want to do and I just hope it turns out. Um, so yeah, that's going to be coming soon. So that's my haul from the Goodwill from Fabric Depot and from Hobby Lobby. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. 
Oh, and I forgot. I have this little seam presser for next to the sewing machine so you don't have to iron everything. You just press it with this little roller. It was on the floor. I just found it. All right. Bye.